Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for watching us. Gonna have some fun today. We're gonna take some calves born here at the Dunbar place. Not sure whose daddy they are, but uh, we're gonna load them up and take them to start their full weaning process with the two Texas calves that I have over at the Ponderosa. So. All right, so first things first, gotta hook up the trailer. We're gonna take, we're gonna use the 24 foot Titan trailer today. And we're gonna, I'm gonna hook up. And I gotta pull in here with Eleanor's bull, the escapee. I'm gonna pull in here with him, back up to our tub loadout, and then we'll load these calves up. And we'll head over to the Ponderosa. To give Eleanor's bull some feed just to keep him distracted because this hooligan last time I was loading bulls out um, to take to processing and he escaped on me about 5 a.m. in the morning yep so you gotta hustle and pay attention with him all right I'm gonna back up right here and uh, that's our tub and loadout area Get all this open. Sure. It's good to go. What's up, Jackie? I see you sneaking in there. Hey, Jackie. Hi, guys. Gate is open. Tub is open. I'm gonna go back through here. I'll open all my sliding gates. And then I'll start pushing uh, these three calves through Dunbar. He came up to visit. He's uh, he's wondering what's going on. He gets all riled up every time that you you hear all the banging and stuff rattling around. He gets all riled up. So, you know, we're gonna push these guys through. Got the GoPro attached, so you guys are gonna get it up close and personal right here. So here we go. Hopefully, they uh, load out pretty well. First time on a trailer.
Here, Maya. Come on, Maya. Maya, no. Go. get worked up got the calves loaded in here it didn't take very long at all they're they're pretty easy to work if they're pretty gentle if they're a little spunky and got some fire in them they can be a handful but uh these guys have seen us a lot and um they're getting used to us so uh they're loaded up and uh just put them kind of towards the front of the trailer together we don't have that far to go about 20 to 25 minutes across town so um luckily you know it's pretty if you got a good system and and this works and you can see from the top it works pretty well and, and this this place you know, we've we've made adjustments over and over and over every time we work these animals and i think we've we've got it pretty close to being down um to fit this system over here and it's worked out really well for us but this tub has been a huge benefit for us not only can we load out on it but we can use it to work our animals with this dual purpose door it swings right here and then it swings obviously right there so that's the main area where they run down uh down into the uh squeeze chute princess right there oh eleanor her and her baby's fine you can see all the mud we got a lot of rain here in murray county um some good rainfall for about four or five days which is much needed but you know it gets a little muddy so um but now i'm going to put out some hay to the dunbar herd and get them taken care of maybe a visit with this um bison right here this old eleanor and then uh we're going to head to the ponderosa and we're going to let them out with the calves there and introduce them to the texas calves Schuster got all tangled up in something, some sort of strand. Actually, being really good for me. Jackie came over to visit. Man, dude, what you got here? Look at them spurs. Some Raleigh spurs. What do you want? Huh? This rooster is actually being really good. He must be. Hey, get back. Leave him alone. Hey, leave him alone. It's okay, Jackie. I'm gonna get it. Get him taken care of right here. Ah, ah, ah. Jackie. Come here, buddy. It's all right. Jackie.
This is how it is. We've got calves in here loaded up. Look at all this merchandise. <laughs> Look at all this merchandise. We got this trailer loaded. We've got the truck loaded. Got all of our, a bunch of Christmas merch here from our Black Friday sale. We have a whole bunch of merchandise here. We're moving bison to the Ponderosa. We're doing it all here. Hey, Thor. What's up, buddy? What's up? How's that shot collar? How's that shot collar treating you? Hmm? How's that shot collar treating you? You staying home? You staying here like you're supposed to with the chickens? Right, guys we uh made it to the ponderosa with the three calves they're all ready to go so we're uh just gonna let them out here the other two are hanging out right over here um and uh i'll kind of tell you the reason why i'm doing all this once i let them out and uh we'll let them meet their new buddies These calves uh, seem to be settling down pretty well. At weaning weight, we had uh, some decent sized calves this year. Uh, one of them was almost 400 pounds, which is uh, a good size uh, for us, um, for, for calves. So that's a good thing. We had a couple of good sized calves born this year. And um, now we'll let these guys hang out together. They have the Oklahoma Pride self feeder. So they have self choice grain and then they'll also have some hay we'll put out hay for them and whatnot and so remember we still have five left over at mom and kevin's uh with the dunbar herd over there that are in the red dog sort of stages um and they're kind of converting out of the red dog into a normal brown color stage so they look real funny right now but those five will come over later on um, they're just not old enough yet remember these guys were born i put it in my notes august 20th they were all born within like i don't know 36 hours or so uh, we had uh, some rain after the hard drought of the summer and then august 20th it was like boom they all came out at the same time 
And so those are some late uh, bloomers. They still need a little bit more time with their mamas. Um, and so we're gonna give them till about January or February. Well, they're at the six or seven month uh, age. And then we'll pull them off and we'll probably bring them over here to hang out with these guys. So that'll be a total 10 calves, uh, total for 2022 um, calving season. Hope you guys like the new hoodie. I love it. I love this color. It's kind of a neat color. It's called pecan, but you know, when you blow out the uh, trailer full, that's uh, had some, uh, you know, dirt and poop in it that's dried up over time, you know, you got to clean it out every now and then and take care of your equipment. But when you clean it out, the great thing about this hoodie is when it blows on you, you don't even see it. it just kind of blends in with that, you know, natural brown color. So, I kind of like that, you know? So it's kind of one of those things you can kind of, you can go on about your day and you, nobody ever knows that you blew poop and dirt out of your bison trailer. So I think it's a great, it's a great selling point right here. So one of the major reasons that we brought them over here was one, You've got, we've got a, a cell feeder, which is what they need right now in the winter. We're, we'll give them hay. Um, but the other thing is, is the self, uh, choice feeding. Uh, we have that, uh, Oklahoma pride, bulk feeder and it's got feed in it. And, uh, it's something that we feed our animals. And this is just what you have to do with weaning, uh, calves. It's what we do every year. We kind of start them on that program in the winter when there's not any grasses to graze. All right, because we're out of the growing season. They've got uh, some grain to supplement them. And then we also give them some roughage, which is hay. And then even uh, sometimes during the winter, I like to put out these uh, mineral tubs, basically, or like uh, licks that they can also get protein and uh, vitamins and nutrients from as well during the winter in the non-growing season and there's no grasses to graze. So that's why we bring those calves over here. Um, and we kind of, I can combine them all together and they can kind of figure out their niche in that family because they'll be with each other for a long time and they can kind of figure out the pecking order now. And then we'll bring those other five over here probably in January or February. So thank you guys for watching us today. All right. So got the, got the calves brought over here. We are good to go. I'm going to, we got Dunbar taken care of and his shenanigans like always you just never know what's going to happen when you get the round bale and when you get it when you get a bale of hay out on the tractor it's just like a huge target for him or something um it's like there's a bullseye on that thing and he loves getting after it so thank you guys for watching and being a part of our channel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys soon. Keep on ranching.